fall is underway in Wisconsin, and visitors are already flocking to catch a glimpse of the beautiful fall foliage across the state. But head south, and there's one place in particular promising scenic views of autumn's glow you won't find anywhere else. Lake Geneva has been named one of the top 10 places to visit fall in, by Travel and Leisure magazine. That's no small accolade. Wendy Kirsten of the Lake Geneva Convention and Visitors Bureau says every season has its beauty on the lake, but fall is especially breathtaking. Those landscape architects back in the 1800s were charged with being able to plant some of the most incredible different species of foliage that would bloom at various times starting September through November. So the fact that we have incredible long-lasting falls is no accident. It was planned and it is magnificent. That planning is evident from the shores of Geneva Lake as it's formally known. The focal point? the mansions, and tourists can get up close and personal, taking in the sights by land along the shore path. One of the newer but still very well-known estates along Lake Geneva expect a miracle house, and she says all you have to do is ring the bell to make miracle happen. So my miracle, not too much snow. And there's no shortage of breathtaking estates over 26 miles of shoreline, all of which is walkable and open to the public. It's up to the homeowner to maintain the path on their property. Multi-million dollar estates aren't the only draw. Wow, look at that beautiful tree. Nature is pretty spectacular too. All of the colors are a signal that the plant's getting ready to uh, go into dormancy. Christine Wen is the horticulture educator for University of Wisconsin Extension in Walworth County. She says fall colors, while beautiful, also serve a purpose. They act as sunscreen for a plant. In the fall when we have really great sunny weather like we have today and cool temperatures, the plants trigger those uh, uh, pigments to come out as kind of a defense inside of their leaves so they can do all the processes that they need to. So why do the colors change here differently than they would in say northern Wisconsin where it's already at its peak? Yeah, so that's all driven by the weather. So in northern Wisconsin we have of course our, our cooler temperatures start to come about sooner than we have it here. Sure. So the peak kind of comes and it transfers throughout the state in different stages. And so on the tops of the plant where there's the most sun, we'll see the most changing color sooner than the bottom of the plant where it might be shaded a little bit more. We have some of our best days in October. The colors will be out on the trees, the fall foliage uh, becomes vibrant and people love seeing that. So it is a, a great time of the year to get out and see the lake. And to see the lake, you have to experience it firsthand. At least according to resident expert Jack Lothian, the general manager for the Geneva Lake Cruise Line. You can come to Lake Geneva, but it's really not a full experience until you get out on the lake, you take a boat ride, and you get to see it from a different vantage point. The next group of homes is Geneva Bay Estate. And that's made possible thanks to veteran Captain Ed Zwiebel behind the wheel of this vessel, the Walworth. He drives along the Geneva Bay on a public tour, captivating his audience with the lake's rich history. Many of the people escaped the burning city by getting on the trains and moving here for the next couple years while they awaited their homes to be rebuilt in the city. And the impressive backdrop of reds and yellows doesn't hurt. Why is this the time of year to get out here? It's more relaxed and the colors are coming. You can see a lot more. You don't have a lot of other boaters out there. During the summer, this lake is very, very busy. There are over 5,000 boats registered and kept on the lake. That's why for some, avoiding congestion with a bird's eye view is their preferred method of travel. It's indescribable, it really is. Hot air balloons are gaining popularity in Lake Geneva. A thrilling take on what's long been called the new port of the Midwest. It's that end of the year feeling, the end of the summer, you know, it's a celebration. Um, obviously the colors are beautiful. I love the temperature, there's no mosquitoes, <laughs> you know, and that's a big thing. John Tryone, the owner and chief pilot of the Lake Geneva Balloon Company, has been flying for 17 years, but he says this year will leave a lasting impact, partly due to the El Nino and above normal fall forecast. That's a great year, it's one of our best years we've had. And this particular morning, Tryone describes as perfect to fly. In the fall, we get awesome, cool, crisp days. You just feel good being up in the air, but of course the beauty is, you know, the trees that have turned colors, the brown of the corn. Uh, it's a totally different uh, uh, color palette than it is during any other time of the year, and that's what makes it so special. 
The two-hour ride promises expansive views over Lake Geneva, Lake Como, and Lake Delavan, in addition to a landscape full of valleys and peaks. It just gives a sense of, of beauty to the surroundings. The impressive views are part of the reason Fodor's Travel ranked the Lake Geneva Balloon Company one of the top 10 balloon rides in the United States. So whether you travel by air, land, or sea to enjoy fall foliage, we are now going to be passing through the Lake Geneva Narrows. Experts in the area say you won't be disappointed with remarkable views from any angle. You're not going to find anything like that anywhere else in the world. It's Lake Geneva's way of fall.